Phil Spencer talks about cloud gaming and the potential it brings to games in the future. So Microsoft has been running this AI and gaming research summit over the last two days, February 23rd to February 24th. And Phil Spencer did a talk at this summit. And one of the things he focused on was the potential of cloud gaming and how it's going to enhance games in the future. Now, before we get into this any further, if you guys are new here and you enjoy what you see throughout this video, you find it entertaining and informative, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to help grow this community so we can have great conversations on all the stuff that's going to be happening throughout this generation. One of my favorite things about Xbox in the last couple of years is just how forward thinking they have been, how Phil Spencer has thought ahead as to how the video game industry is changing and how the ecosystem is now now going to be the main focus and we're starting to see companies like Sony follow in those footsteps as they are beginning to release more of their games on PC and Xbox saw this coming when they created Game Pass they created Game Pass for PC and realized that locking people into a single console to play games is not the way of the future and in general it probably won't even affect the console sales that much as we've seen the xbox series x and s fly off the shelf even though there is no console exclusive and you can still play those games anywhere you want on a pc on an android device or any console as long as you're in the xbox ecosystem we got some more information about where xbox thinks the future of gaming is kind of the forward thinking and the foresight that they have about the gaming industry and this comes via a tweet from tom warren where he pulled this clip out of the ai and gaming summit and phil spencer talking about cloud gaming in this scene here with the famous background which i made a video on yesterday <laughs> that sparked all of these speculation. But he talks about cloud gaming and it's pretty interesting what he mentions. So I'll let you guys have a listen to it here. When we look in the future, we see a world where game creators will natively be building cloud-based games first. They will think first about their game running in the cloud with almost unlimited access to the hardware capability that's available in a data center. They'll be able to scale the capabilities of their game up and down potentially hosting hundreds of thousands of players in a game or making use of multiple CPUs and GPUs in the cloud to deliver experiences that no local hardware could unlock. Now that quote's interesting for a couple of reasons. Obviously it shows the potential of cloud gaming and how crazy games could become when developers have access to multiple GPUs and CPUs to create massive worlds with great detail and allowing hundreds of thousands of players in a game just seems like an insane thing to think about that obviously right now with the local consoles that we have it can't be achieved however me personally i love the local console like i love my series x i love my series s i always have and i'm still not the biggest cloud gaming person because obviously there's still a lot of drawbacks to it i mean you have to have a great connection i've experienced disconnects but overall i mean xcloud has been working well and i haven't experienced any of the other services like geforce now or stadia and i've heard that those connections are pretty decent and xcloud's goal is obviously to becoming like the main way Way people game in the future not this generation potentially next generation where no matter where you are you pick up a screen you just have the app or whatever and you're going to be able to start gaming right away and developers are going to be able to put these insane experiences through the cloud on xcloud or on whatever streaming ecosystem that is out there the actual thought of the games through the cloud and the potential that they could have is exciting for an old school person like me who loves actually having the physical console downloading the games and just having that box that you play on that part will be sad when that eventually does go away but i think it'll be always for the better when more people can jump in and experience something and that's obviously where they're going they want to be able to open this up to as many people as possible so that they aren't locked behind having to pay that four or five hundred dollar entry fee to get into gaming but all in all it's pretty interesting it really shows the forward thinking of microsoft and xbox when it comes to gaming i mean we saw that when they jumped over to game pass they created an ecosystem now we're starting to see sony put their games on pc and i think that's going to be the way of the future you're going to be subscribing to an ecosystem and in that ecosystem you're going to be able to play games on whatever screen is available that supports the application. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. What do you
you think about cloud gaming? What do you think about the potential it can have on games in the future? What do you think about cloud gaming right now with xCloud or GeForce Now or Stadia or any of that stuff? And do you enjoy it or would you always rather have that local console where you can download and play games on? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you are new here and you like what you see throughout this video, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to help this channel grow and help grow this community. So we have some great conversations in the comments below. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for your support and I'll catch you in the next video.